guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to share a few activities for size comparison. Like if you are planning to introduce number comparison or measurements concept to your kid. Uh, this video is going to be helpful for you. But before starting the video, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel and do follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I will provide the link in description. So now let's get started. Like we are going to learn about size measurements. Okay. So here we have these three objects. Okay. So you have to tell me which is the biggest among these three. Yeah, and which is the smallest? This one. Very nice, cool. So if I add one more thing here. Now, which is the biggest? This. Very nice. So whenever you are planning to teach your kids about size comparison or measurements, so make sure to teach them in very fun way so that it's easy for them to understand. And if you are introducing them first time, I, I will suggest to use just two products like you can uh, use their toys or you can use crayons or whatever you have. Just use two objects and then tell them about the biggest and the smallest. Now like we have two objects. so. This is the big one and this is the small, small one. Okay. And if we add one more, now we have three objects. So which is the biggest? Yeah, car is the biggest and this is the smallest. Now same way, if you want to uh, teach about long and short, you can use like you can use pencil and crayon. So which is the uh, long one? Pencil. And which is the short one? Crayon. Very nice. And if we add one more, we have three objects here. So which is the shortest? Shortest. Hmm. Yes. Very nice. And which is the longest? Yes. Cool. Very nice. So same way you can uh, use anything you have to teach tall and short like this, this jar. This is the tall one and this is the short one. Okay. And like now... Like Yeah. Me. What? Like I'm short and my mom's big. Not big, tall. Yeah. When we are talking about height, we call tall and short. Okay? Yeah, good job. Okay, now same way if you want to teach about more and less, what you can do is you use toys or crayons here like we have crayons. So, love, wait. So when you are doing size comparisons, like you are doing more and less, um, there should be two groups. Okay, like now we have... Uh, just wait a second. We have two groups of crayons here. Yes. You have to tell me which group has more. This group has more and this has less. How? Because these, this has three mm -hmm. crayons. That's how it's less. This has more than three crayons. So it's, that's how it's taught. Very nice. So ask your child to count the objects first. Like one, two and three. This group has three crayons. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. This group has six crayons. So which group has more? This group. Same way you can teach the concept of less. Like this group has more and this group has less objects in comparison to this group. So same way you can teach the concept of um, heavy and light. Like we have two objects here. Can you tell me which is the um, heavy? Which is the heavy one? Yes, I can show them by holding. Okay, yeah, you can hold them. So this is light because it's small hmm. and this is not light because it's big. Yeah, so this is heavy. Yes, this okay. is heavy and this is light. Yes, uh, same way you can teach the concept of capacity like you can use one big glass and one small glass and uh, teach them which um, glass can hold more water. So you can use these easy um, fun activities to teach different concepts to your kids. And once you are done with the oral uh, practice, you can move on to written work. So now we have few worksheets that you can practice with your kids. So first we have, can you read it? Circle the biggest object in each group. So look here. Did so you uh, it? wait, 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 Shanu. So as you can see here, we have different group of objects and you have to check each group. And here, like you can see, we have three daddy bears and the child has to find which is the biggest. So this is done for you. You have to find here. So which is the biggest? Uh, this one. Yeah, you have to circle it. Uh, 
So you can use similar worksheet for the smallest objects. Like again, we have different group of objects and here child has to identify the smallest object. So here, show me which is the smallest object. This yeah, butterfly. circle it. Yes, you have to circle it. So you can practice these uh, kind of worksheets for a few days and once your child is familiar with the biggest and the smallest you can move on to the longest and shortest objects the concept is same here again we have different group of objects and here child has to find the longest object you have to circle the longest object okay. and now here the child has to identify the shortest object you have to circle the shortest object I think you have learned that you need to circle the <laughs> shortest, shortest yeah. and longest, big and small. Very nice, cool. Now we are going to practice for more and less. So in this worksheet, as you can see, we have two group of objects first and um, here child has to do two things. First, they have to number each object like this is one, two, three. Again for this group, this is one, two, three, four and five. Now secondly, ask your child to circle the group which has more. So there, um, so here we have five elephants, here we have three elephants. So which group has more? Five. So do this one please. First you have to write, count them and write very nice. One butterfly. One, two, three. Very nice. One, two, Three. Now which group has more? Yes. You have to circle the group. You have to follow the same steps here. Uh, the child has to write the number of objects here first. Like here it is one. Here we have three. Then the child has to circle the group which has fewer or less objects. So do this one love. So this is the one which has mm -hmm. Short objects, less. Not short, fewer or less. Okay. So now as you can see, we have a few objects here. We have few bikes and few bicycles. So now you have to ask your child to number the objects. Like we have bicycles here. First he has to number the bicycles. Take it and do it. First you have to do the bicycles. One and two. Ask your child to uh, number the second group like one, yeah, two. Mm, two and three. Now uh, read it. Which is that has more? Circle the answer yeah. like this. Yes, very nice. Now you can do same thing for fewer or less objects. Again, you have to ask your child to number these objects first. Then you have to compare them like which group has few objects. Count them One, and write. Two, three, four, five. And you have to write the number. And now the second group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, seven. So which group has more? Seven. You have to circle it, yeah. You can either make these worksheets on notebook or if you want, you can buy these worksheets from our website. I will provide the link in the description. So make sure to check out the description box for the link. I hope you found this video informative. If you like the video, please give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. You want to say bye? Bye.